Hey everybody, welcome back to Skyrim. I have added a stupid amount of mods since the last video. Uh, I guess I'll list them off right now. They're all in the channel description, uh, along with credits and links and all that stuff. Not channel description, video description. Anyway, the mods are Glowing Ore Veins 300 by Baratan, Detailed Faces version 2, Detailed Lips, Detailed Bodies, High Quality Eyes, No More Blocky Faces, and Improved Teeth, all by Xenius. Skyrim HD 2K Textures by Nebula, with a capital L for some reason. Skyrim Sun Glare version 2 by Last, with two A's. Realistic Water Textures by uh, Isoku. Real realistic Rain Ripples by uh, Isoku, I guess. Skyrim Enhanced Textures, or Skyrim Enhanced Shaders by Tapiox. Landscape Texture Pack Work in Progress by Xclear. Uh, armor Improvement by Jimmy High, Better Gold by Vagabond Angel, Clothes Improvement by Jimmy High, High Res Road Signs by Spartan 6, Beautiful Skyrim HD Clutter and Furniture by... Ah, dang it, I can't see the name. But anyway, I, it's in the channel description. That That's a really good mod, actually. That I should have put the credit in the video, but check the video description. His name is there in the link. Uh, that one just replaces all the clutter, like soul gems and stuff like that, and wine especially, and furniture like boxes and stuff. To continue on, Tree LODs with Shadows by Xtudo. And as you can see right here, the tree LODs seem a bit darker. And uh, QD Inventory by Rolltack. Now this is a biggie. This is a real biggie, actually. If you go to items, you can see it's like the inventory that the game should have had on the PC to begin with. It's, I mean, you click on the tabs and you can get to different stuff. It's essential, basically. It works like the, I want to say the Oblivion UI. Beautiful. And uh, improved rock and mountain textures. By I also can't see the name. I have a notepad deal up on the side of my screen and I have Skyrim running in a window so anyway they're all in the video description and just my personal thanks to all these mod creators and as I said we will be adding more mods as this let's play progresses and you know if a good mod comes out along the way after th the construction set is released probably uh, I'll make a video just reviewing it so anyway last time we were taking a very indirect route to Whiterun and we're on the far bottom side. I believe this is the save that we were using last time. Coming up this way, we walked past that building right there. Not sure why I'm playing in third person. Uh, there's some ore. Let's mine that. Someone pointed out that you can just hit the E key to mine the ore. I don't know why I wasn't looking at that. Also, that reminds me, uh, there really needs to be a mod to, that removes the little letter or... Uh, the key that you can press to do different things. Like where it says, uh, it won't show up now because we mine the ore. Did you see how that ore was kind of glowing from the distance so you could see it? That is Glowing Ore Veins 300 by Baratan. It's not so much a cheat as it is just kind of... You'd think it would be in there from the beginning. What is this? Hello there, Life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend? Can you teach me about speechcraft? Ah, well, after a little incident with a roguish lad and uh, the daughter of a prominent thane, well, let's just say, best not. Afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that tongue, you might try the Bard's College in solitude. Uh, what are you doing out here? Why, to perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns be given the gift of music? All right. Until next time. I wonder if we can get away with murder. No guards here. All right. I guess that deer behind me sees me, but I don't think anyone else does. What is he, a mage? Yeah, I guess he's a mage. 
He's not a very smart guy either. All right. And I guess that cancels out my idea of how the Dark Brotherhood might work. It doesn't work the same way, apparently. What do we have here? Might as well grab the ingredients. Iron Arrow. What are these books? Garlic, Wolf Queen. No, nah, not a skill book. Anyway, we need to be picking these flowers for alchemy. Red mountain flowers are for health potions, I believe. Well, where, did we pick it? I guess we did. Thistle. Still walking around to white run. Catching butterflies. What is that? A, is that like a deer swimming through the water right over there? It is. It went completely underneath the water. It's kind of silly. Never heard of an aquatic deer. I need to remap these keys. It would be better if I could put like a jump onto E and activate onto space. In fact, I think I'll do that real fast to make it like more oblivion-y. I'm used to those controls. Jump will be E. Activate a space. There. That works. Now if I want to go back to oblivion, it's not like a hassle trying to get my thumb and my forefinger to switch places. You really should, uh, it'd be better if you're able to move the camera around when you're mining, or better yet, if it didn't zoom out to third person when you're mining. Another thing on the ore, uh, I will be using blacksmithing a lot, because I've realized how essential that is. I think here in maybe, I don't know, ten videos or so, we should be able to get, like, full glass armor just from, there's a mine I know of for malachite. I think that's what the ore is. Not really ore. I think that's a gem, actually. E either way, it's used for glass armor, and I may be get the, I may have had the name completely wrong. I do like the sharpening effect. That's from uh, can I remember it? Skyrim Enhanced Shaders. I'm using the ultra quality with extra sharpen option for that mod if you do download it. You'll see it. It's in a couple of folders. There's, there's actually an option in that mod that's quite entertaining. It uh, pixelates the graphics just by putting some sort of deal over it and so you get all these pixelated graphics and it sort of looks like... I don't know. You can't read the menu but just for playing it's halfway entertaining. Is this guy going to stop us? City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. And our speech increased. It's interesting how they kind of melted the, uh, not melted, but they kind of put all the uh, Wait, old speech options. It takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. What do you mean you know me? Wait, I know you. Uh, you're making a mistake? There's no mistake. You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. Five gold. I wonder what that was from. Maybe stealing the horse? Good enough. 
I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. That reminds me, we really need to work on pickpocket. Uh, actually, let me start quick saving, and we'll start pick, uh, picking people's pockets just like this. Like, there's a 43% chance to steal that, 52%. We just need to basically reload to begin with. Why you? Because there's no other way to do it. I mean, are you going to just kind of play the game without reloading and pay up for the crime every single time you try to pickpocket someone? I mean, what? That doesn't really make sense. Oh. You're in trouble. Is that why you're hiding like that? Annoying child. Surprisingly, it doesn't matter if someone sees you. Never draw the arm. Stop right there. And if you just cancel out of that, they'll start attacking you. We'll do this another time. Let me try to steal something again. Never have committed crimes again. Yeah, we'll do this another time. But anyway, we need to get that up. Basically, I was looking in the perk tree. If you go over to pickpocket, right here. Go up to... And I hate how this one moves around. Carrying capacity is increased by 100. That just seems really, really nice to me, so we don't have to go with any fatigue. Or not fatigue, but endurance. Stamina. There's a different word for it in every RPG. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. What do you have for you sale? Protect yourself or deal some damage. And what does she have? First of all, that's a lot of stuff. Let me go into miscellaneous. Uh, what do I have? How much leather do I have? I need to make some leather. I have a lot of iron ore. Actually, I need to get used to escape not being taken out of combat. I need to use the tanning rack. Let's make up some of this leather. Yep. And some leather strips. This will also help us level up really, really fast. I need to get used to not using the escape key. What game is it that you use the escape key like that? Smelter, yes I know. Make a bunch of iron ore. We have like 31 bars. Let me make these real fast. I'll be back. Alright, I forgot you can just use the uh, enter key. So you can go like that. Either way. Just so you know if you're using that user interface. Now we need to use the blacksmith forge. Go to iron. Iron dagger. And... We need to make some more leather strips real fast. Basically why this is so essential is the higher your blacksmithing skill, you can... What is this, a smelter? Oh. Odd. Alright. What I was getting at is the higher your blacksmithing skill, the uh, more you can improve armor at the workbench, and it's it's a pretty substantial improvement when you look at it. Let's see, iron, iron dagger, which is like the cheapest and easiest just to improve really fast. Just make a bunch of them. And now we have 30 smithing. Let's level up real fast, put some points into health, and we're almost level 10 actually. Let's see, smithing. We should probably just get the uh, steel smithing perk. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. How much gold do we have? The best blacksmith in hmm. Blades, helmets. We have 2,900. She sells iron ingots for... You know, that's not that much. Let's buy some iron ingots. And so let's make some more leather strips. Talk, 
You can also make uh, leather bracers real easy. Have you met my father? But leather is a lot more expensive than iron. Let's see. Iron dagger. You can see how fast we're leveling up. It's not like we're using an exploit or anything. It's just how cheap it is to increase smithing. Let's see, let's increase health again. I don't know of anything else. And smithing, let's go with uh, elven smithing. That'll be some better armor. I help my father more what do you have for sale again? Or deal some damage. And let's sell all those iron daggers. We must have like a, we must have a stupid amount of them. 67 iron daggers. Did we sell them? I guess we sold them. Hmm. Alright. And what do we have over here? I guess you can't turn goat hide into leather. Alright. Cor corundum. I think that's how you pronounce that. That's what we need for elven. But... I don't feel like buying those. You can get those uh, in odd places around the cliffs and the edges of Whiterun and the field around Whiterun, I mean. Uh, I think the guy inside has some more leather. You all might need to excuse a bit of power gaming in the next few episodes. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Because I'd like to get pretty high pickpocket. That's my timer, but let's keep going. 43 iron ingots. For only 900 gold. I mean, that's... You get gold real easy. Plus, when we get pickpocket, we'll get a stupid amount of gold. You think all the counsel my father provides the Jarl is his alone? Out with it. What do you have for Find sale again? And buy some leather, which is significantly more expensive than, uh, how much do we need? Probably seven. Let's mm -hmm. tell her to get off the tanning rack. Make a bunch of leather strips. And you can use space instead of enter if you want to do that for the, uh, using this menu right here. Let's see, Iron Dagger, and we have... We need a lot more leather strips, actually. That's surprising. Out with it. What have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? More leather. Let's just buy a good amount. All right, then. I mean, as easy as it, as it is to get leather just out killing stuff... It's also somewhat of a pain. But I guess you get it as you play, you know? And yeah, we have enough. There we go. 44 smithing. Actually, 49 smithing. Wow. And we got two levels. <laughs> Alright, I was hoping to get 50 smithing for uh, the scaled armor. I think I'll go and buy some of that iron ore real fast. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. And just smelt it real fast. I really like the UI, the uh, QD inventory. Definitely check it out. Wow, just one away. Oh no, never mind, we're one away from 51. Now we can get that perk. Go under smithing. We are going through the uh, light armor tree, of course. Advanced armors. And we still have one perk to spend. Let's go to uh, let's go to pickpocket actually. For pickpocket, the first one increases the chance by 20%. So that's just an all-around good thing to get. 
if you're going to start even. Uh, sell these iron daggers. What do you have for sale? Take a look. And how many do we have? 48. So we get some of the gold back. And I think I'll actually end the episode here. So... Yeah, just for uploading ease. Thanks for watching, and I will continue to add even more mods. A lot of the mods that I listed are really nice texture replacers. I mean, there's a lot of great texture replacers. Shut up, child. Why, why do these people tell us this stuff? Like the kid walks up. I work with my mother. I mean, who says that to a random stranger? That looks like this. Either way, thanks for watching. Oh, shut up. She's following me. Let me end this video. Thanks for watching. Point out any mods you know of that are good. These people tell us their deepest, darkest secrets when we walk by them. There needs to be a mod that removes that. That'd be nice. That would be really nice. I'll look for that. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you all.